Hi and welcome. I'm Heidi and we're adding on to our intro to yoga series. So the previous class was all about grounding. We made some triangle shapes called the triangle poses and uh, bringing the energy down. And now we're actually going to do a lot of heart opening. So really opening up the heart, um, kind of being open to new things. Back bends, heart openers, same thing. They can be a little uh, intimidating and a little scary. When I first started yoga, I really was not flexible at all. And when I thought about uh, heart openers and back bending, I just uh, thought everything was here in the front, like just opening. And it really isn't. It's a combination of lengthening the muscles in the front of the body but so much strength and control in the back of the body. And that's when you can safely move into these postures um, by making sure you do the both. Again, another reason why I love yoga is we're strengthening as well as stretching all in one pose. So we're going to get started. We're going to actually just warm up the body first, get a nice little flow in and start you know, getting those muscles ready to stretch and strengthen. And then I'm going to break down some of the poses that you would typically see in a vinyasa class, a power class, a yin class. Um, so you can take that knowledge with you into any of these classes that you do. All right, so we're first going to start in a nice seated position. I'd like to cross my legs. If you feel like you want to sit on a block instead, by all means do so. And we're just going to bring your hands, resting them down onto your thighs. Roll the shoulders a couple of times just to like, you know, feel yourself in your body. All right, and then find that stillness. Please close your eyes. And then I'd like you to take your right hand and place it on your heart and take your left hand and place that on the right hand. Please take a slow, long breath in through the nose. And then open your mouth, just side out, let it all out. I kind of like you fogging the mirror that's in front of you. Let's do that again. Inhale. Open your mouth, fog that mirror. Take another big breath in. This time you're going to seal your lips, breath out through the nose, but that same audible fogging mirror sensation. Beautiful. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. See if you can spread your chest nice and wide. And then exhale. Notice how the heart presses into your hands as you breathe in. Breathe out. Beautiful. Circle sweep your arms all the way up to the sky. Take a big breath in. Cactus your arms. Open up your chest. Breath out. See if you can feel your shoulder blades sliding down your back. Arms up. Breath in. Cactus those arms nice and wide. Breath out. Inhale. Arms up. And exhale, cactus. Arms go up. Big breath in. We're going to do a side stretch, left hand down, right arm all the way up and over. Take your right shoulder blade and slide it down your back. See if you can feel like you're opening the front of the chest a bit more. Take another big breath in here. Cactus your right arm, exhale and look up to the sky. Nice, extend your arm up and over your ear. Beautiful, bring your hand down to the earth. Nice, circle sweep your arm all the way up, breath in. Side stretch, this time right hand down, left arm goes up, up. Slide that left shoulder blade away from the ear, down your back. Nice, big breath in here. Cactus the left arm and look on up. Notice how you're really opening up through the front of the body here. Extend your left arm up and over your ear. Bring both your hands down to the earth. Nicely done. You're going to bring your hands behind your back. I'm going to move to the side so you can see the side angle of it. Fingertips come forward, the back of your hands to the back of your mat, elbows back, and place your whole hand down onto the earth, and you lean back, right? And then you're going to lift up through the chest, but first think about sliding your shoulder blades down your back. I want you to squeeze the muscles of your back muscles towards each other. Notice how that opens the front of the body. Lengthen your neck, so don't worry about letting your head go back, but rather find this lengthening through the neck. Take a big breath into the heart 
And then exhale, we're just going to fold on forward, bringing your chin to your chest, let the hands just drop on either side. Breathe into the back of your heart, into the back of the chest. Inhale. And exhale. Sit all the way up, circle sweep your arms up to the sky, big breath in. And then come onto all fours. You're going to bring your wrists under your shoulders, bring your knees directly underneath your hips. And we're going to do a few rounds of cat and cow here. So inhale, arch your spine. And then hug your belly button in. Exhale. Inhale, we arch. Notice how the front of the spine is creating space in between each vertebra. And then you exhale, you hug it in. And notice at the back of the spine, you're creating space between each vertebra. Inhale. And exhale, we hug it in. Nice, come to a neutral spine. You're going to curl your toes downward facing dog. Let's lift those hips nice and high. And then we're going to slide the shoulders away from the ears. Activate the muscles in the arms. Straighten out the arms. Feel free to bend the knees at any point. All right. I'm going to straighten my legs because that feels good in my body. Take a big breath in here. And breath out. Come back onto all fours. Nice. Inhale, arch your spine. Hug your belly button in and exhale. Come to a neutral spine. Look forward, shift on forward and come all the way down onto the earth. You're going to bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders and then bring, hug your elbows into the side. Take the tops of your feet and press them into the earth. And I want you to fire up the muscles in the legs. Notice how my knees lift up off the mat. You're going to look slightly forward. Again, we're not cranking the neck back. There's no cranking in any of the back bends or chest openers. You're just lengthening the crown of your head forward. Slide your shoulder blades down your back. Notice how the muscles in the back are active. And then you're going to press down through your hands just slightly and lift on up. This is a little cobra pose right here. Take a big breath in. And then come down, exhale, lift on up, breath in, nicely done, and exhale. One more time, we're going to come on up, beautiful, come on down, bend your knees, come on down onto all fours, downward facing dog. Take a breath in through the nose, open your mouth, side out. Let's lift your right leg all the way up and back, inhale. And we're going to step it through for our moon pose. So the moon pose, your back knee comes down. And you're going to come all the way up. All right. So send your right hip back. Your feet are nice and wide. So you've got a nice base here. We're tilting the tailbone down, activating the left hamstring. Core is engaged. You're going to reach your arms up to the sky. Big breath in here. Send your right knee over your right foot. Track it right over there. Take a breath in here. And think about activating the back muscles as you cactus your arms and open up through the chest. Beautiful. Go back up. Inhale. And we're going to cactus again. Exhale. Go back up. Inhale. And cactus, exhale. Let's add on. You're going to let your hands come behind your back and interlace them. Or if you have a strap or a towel, you hold on to that. And hold this here and keep sliding the shoulder blades down your back. Notice it's the action that's happening in the back muscles that are allowing you to stretch the muscles in the front. Nice. All right, release those hands. Bring them back down to the earth in front of you. Step it back, downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Left leg goes all the way up. It reaches. And we're going to step it through for the moon pose on the other side. So back knee down. Come all the way up. All right. Let those arms go up. We tilt the tailbone down. The core is nice and engaged. Take a big breath in. Cactusing your arms again. Come down deeper. Exhale. Beautiful. Arms go up. Come on up. Press down through the feet. And then exhale. Let that knee track over your big toe. Inhale, come back up, arms up. And exhale, come on down. Now, if you come on down and you just dump your weight down, that's going to start hurting in your lower back and into the hips. So keep the core engaged. Find that length, that reach. Nice. Big breath in here. And bring your hands down to the earth. Please step it back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. And breath out. 
All right, come on to all fours. Body is nice and warm and ready for me to go and break down each pose for you. You're gonna do it with me and we're gonna go from all the way, like feet all the way up, giving you some alignment cues to help you. So the very first one, I always like to start um, low and work our way up, adding and adding on. So we'll start again in Cobra, lying down on your belly. And you're going to bring your hands underneath your shoulders, like we did earlier. Feet about hip distance apart and press the tops of your feet into the earth. Now, if my knees are down onto the mat, then my legs are not fired up. And I really need the legs to be fired up for us to have a safe back bending. So fire up the legs, squeeze them in, lift the kneecaps off, and I'm pressing the tops of the feet into the earth. Hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows are not, we're not, we're not flying with the elbows out. We're hugging them in. Use those back muscles and you could be right here. This is it, right there. Now think about your heart right here. We're going to lift it up and send it forward. So you lift up and send forward. So here is our cobra. We want to add to this. We're going to come on down. We're going to bring your hands out like aeroplane arms, right? So they're a little bit put on a 45 degree angle. We're going to do the same thing here. We're tilting that tailbone down activating the lower glutes, the hamstrings, lifting the kneecaps up. All right, we're going to add a little to this though. I want you to lift your feet up. Ooh, notice how that fire up, that lower glutes and the hamstrings there, protecting your lower back from any of that compression. Okay, so keep this nice and soft up here, but tight down at the bottom. And then lift up the chest, slide the shoulder blades towards each other. And here we are in our locust pose. Now, the thing that happens here all the time, one, muscles fire up and you get tired. But two, everyone forgets to breathe. And when you forget to breathe, that's when you can't hold on to the pose more. So keep breathing throughout it. All right, come all the way down. Let's just do a little rest crocodile pose. So you bring your hands in front of you, one on top of the other. Drop your forehead down, maybe rock your forehead side to side and just shake the hips side to side. It's always good to release some of that tension that might, you know, burning sensation that's strengthening in the lower back. Nicely done. All right, now we're ready to add on. So we're going to move on to a seal pose. And what that looks like is our forearms are down. Elbows, wrists, and hands in one line right underneath the shoulder. So elbow, so that line right here. And our hand, elbows are parallel. And you're going to press the tops of your feet again into the earth. Tilt that tailbone down, fire up the muscles in the legs. And I want you to think about like you're pulling the elbows back and the chest forward. And that right here is your sphinx pose and then we're going to add on to that you're going to bring your hands out at a 45 degree angle and you're going to press down through the hands and this feels good on your back you can come up to a seal pose now this is where you can start feeling some compression in the lower back so ease up come back down to your sphinx pose if that happens all right, let's meet in a child's pose. You're going to bring the knees out and we're going to sit all the way back and just lengthen through your lower back. Nicely done. All right, come up onto all fours. We've got one more that I want to show you. It is the foundation or the beginning pose to eventually go into a wheel one day. Now, you know, you really want to build to a wheel. Um, and so I really like having these steps to get this. You really are working every single muscle you would be in a wheel, but we're going to be doing so in a bridge. So I have my blocks that I love to use for this. So I'm going to show you a supported bridge as well as one where you don't need the support. All right, so you're going to bring your feet about hip distance apart and sit up nice and tall. All right, sitting nice and tall, we're going to reach your hands forward. I want you to roll down nice and slowly. Always finding an opportunity to fire up your core muscles. So nice and slow. Don't rush through it. Press down through the feet slowly, slowly. Now I think you're going to hit one vertebra at a time. Nice and slow. And then the back of your head touches the earth. Bring your knees into your chest. Let's give that a nice tight squeeze. Beautiful. Bring your left foot down, right foot down feet hip distance apart walk your heels in towards your sit bones now i was taught 
Let your fingertips and your heels touch. Here's one problem I have with that. My arms are short. So please listen to your body. If it doesn't work for you and it doesn't feel like you got your feet firmly placed onto the earth, then just walk them in as much as you feel like they're close, but all four corners of my feet touches the earth and my knees are not popping out. They're directly up, pointing up to the sky. All right, make sure you got that block nice and close by so I can show you that variation. And what we're going to do now is you're going to send your belly button into the spine and broaden your lower back. So if I had to take my hand and place it and slide it under, it's got nowhere to go. There is no space. When you do that, your core is super engaged. All right, you're going to fire up the muscles in your lower glutes, hamstrings. You're going to press down through the feet and lift the hips up. And we're still tilting this pelvic floor up and in and tilting your tailbone down towards your knee creases right there. All right, you can bring your hands on either side, palms facing down. Or you can interlace your hands and keep them like that. Or if you want to add to open up the chest a little more and it feels good in your body, remember no sharp pain, just nice deep stretching. You're going to walk the shoulder blades up towards each other Press your hands down on the earth, then really press into the feet to see if you can lift on up. Now, I'm looking at you. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't look at me. Look up so we're not putting any strain on the neck whatsoever. Nice. All right. As important it is to come into the pose, it's equally important to come out of the pose. So first, let's make some space between the shoulder blades. So wiggle the shoulders apart, release the hands, and slowly, slowly bring the sit bones down, bring your knee into the chest, and we're going to give it a nice squeeze, broadening your low back down onto the earth. All right, bring the soles of your feet down. We're going to set up for a second variation. I love this variation so much. It's absolutely my favorite. You take a block, uh, maybe even take a nice high pillow or you've rolled up a towel, um, something that can give you some height. So I have this block. You can do it in different settings. For me, my for, I, I started in a low setting and then I worked my way up. So feel free to do whatever you need. We're going to do the same thing. Uh, let me put the block on this side so you can see it. Feet hip distance apart. Make sure you can ground your feet down so you're not on the balls of your feet. Everything is down. Knees pointing to the sky. Let's Eliminate the space in the lower back by hugging the belly button in. Beautiful. Lift the hips up by activating the hamstrings and the lower glutes. Nice. Now you're going to take that block. You can either place it in the lower setting, right in the lower back. For me, I really like the higher setting. I've been doing this for a few years, so I've got a little more openings. So you lift up and place it here on, the, on your lower back. And then maybe you can even interlace your hands around the block. And you can stay right here. And now you soften. Soften the glutes, soften the legs. This is a little more restorative. I like to even maybe cactus my arms out again, looking up, not towards you like what I'm doing right now. You want to keep that neck nice and neutral. And this is a great way to bring your hips above your heart. And it's such a calming pose. It's a way to really um, calm the central nervous system down. Of course, when you do a wheel, it's kind of a fiery pose. It's a, whew, everything's opening up. Every muscle on your back is active to keep you there. But once you add some support like a block to this one variation of a bridge, it can just really be quite satisfying and just relaxing. You can gently open up all the muscles that you need for a wheel or any of these openers. All right, let's slowly come all the way out. Bring your knees into your chest and give them a squeeze. You're going to bring your hands behind your thighs. You're going to rock yourself up. I'm going to do one more pose. It's a back bending heart opener, camel pose. Different variations for that too. I have two blocks to show you that I'm going to place on either side, coming onto your knees. Now, you always want to keep your knees and hips in one line. We're still doing the same muscle activation. Hamstrings, lower glutes, shoulder blades, squeezing those in, right? That's what's supporting so we can open up through the front. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is bring left hand behind you. 
Think about the elbow back, just like we did right at the beginning of class when we were sitting. Then the right hand behind you. And I want you to keep sending the hips forward. And I want you to think about what's happening here in the lower glutes and the hamstrings. Activate them. Boom. Feel that tilting. You got a little more space right there. All right. And then chest looks up to the sky. Work those muscles in the back to bring those shoulder blades towards each other. Don't worry about the head going back and crunching the back of the neck. Rather think about lengthening the neck. And right there, that is camel. All right, bring the chin to the chest. Bring the shoulders over the hips and take a seat. Just as important coming out as you go in. I also love to use a block in between my inner thighs to squeeze in. And that keeps reminding me to fire up this base, my root um, chakra, my, my stability to help me open up. So feel free to use the block for that too. You might also notice some variations where people bring their hands behind them, either onto their heels, onto a block. So I'll show you that. Where you bring the block behind you, you come all the way up like we did earlier. Again, if the knees are a little sensitive, this, Put another layer of mat on there or maybe a towel just to get a little more cushioning. All right, so same hamstrings, lower glutes, that gets fired up. So firing that up. I'm gonna bring the hands behind my back. I'm gonna fire up the muscles in the back, bringing those shoulder blades towards each other and then sliding the shoulder blades, ba blades back down my back, looking up, think heart up, like there's this rope from the heart up to the sky and it's being pulled up. And then I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna place it on the block behind me. It's right behind my foot. And the block on the right side behind me, or maybe I use the heels. Now, you don't wanna sit it back. You want to keep driving those hips forward. This is where you could feel a lot of um, crunching in the lower back. If you feel that, bring your hands on the lower back and stay here and think about finding this length going up, 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 activating the hamstrings and the lower glutes more, going up, up, and then eventually you'll be able to go back a little deeper. All right, I hope that really helps you. So what I want you to do now is come onto your back, lying down, or if you'd like, you can join me sitting nice and tall with your legs crossed again. Whatever works for you. And you're just gonna close your eyes. And we're gonna send the breath all the way. Visualize the breath going all the way in through the nose down your spine, all the way into the lower back. And then visualize the breath coming all the way back up the spine and out. Inhale. And exhale. So whether you're sitting or lying down, I'm asking you to be in a neutral position for a while. Because you never want to go from a back bend to a forward bend without first visiting this neutral position. Think of it like a ruler, right? If you're trying to break a ruler, you go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. So you just have this little time of finding neutrality. Now, if you're lying on your back, bring your knees into your chest and give that a nice tight squeeze again. Maybe you rock side to side. If you are like what I'm doing, sitting up tall, I want you to gently fold forward, letting your hands just rest on either side of you, or maybe you use your hands to support you in the front here. I want you to bring your chin into your chest and allow gravity to pull your head down, just getting a nice stretch, gentle stretch through the back. There's so many different variations of doing the same thing in yoga. So if one, like the seated forward fold, the way I'm doing it here, doesn't speak to you, you can lie on your back and bring the knees into your chest. Still getting a good deep stretch through the spine. Very, very slowly, if you're lying down, you're going to extend your legs out and drop your hands by your side. If you are sitting, you sit up nice and tall. I'm going to ask you to, whether lying down or sitting, to bring your palms and face them up. So if you're lying down, the back of your hands will be on the ground. And if you're sitting, the back of your hands will be resting on your thighs. 
And then with your eyes closed, just focus on the breath. Notice the air coming in through the nose. Notice the breath coming out through the nose. Actually notice right where the air comes in. And where the air comes out. Your mind will wonder. Just like we practice in the physical body, we need to practice to bring the wandering mind to stillness. So kindly bring your awareness back to your breath, back in this present moment. Just focusing on the breath. Before I leave you, I'd like to share some words from Melody Beattie's book, Journey into the Heart. Trust your heart. For so long you relied on your head. Now it is time to make the shift, the greater leap into your heart. You are beginning to see how your head gets in the way. How it creates so much noise. The chatter, the limited visions, the fear. Are you beginning to see how what you've relied on, your intellect, your assessments, and sometimes your logic has complicated your life? It isn't the head that sees clearly, nor does the head always see with love. Often, it sees with the eyes of fear. The heart sees clearly. It balances the mind and emotions. It takes what's real and processes it into the truth, then into action. It takes into account all that needs to be done, then draws a map, an itinerary, for how to accomplish that. Yes, you say, but my head does that too. And then I don't need to feel. Your heart can do it better because it maps the way in love. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your heart. It's your connection to nature, to people, to the universe, to yourself. Please take a slow breath in through the nose. Open your mouth side out. Let it all go. Please will you bring your hands in prayer, resting your thumb onto your heart center. As you take a breath in, feel the heart pressing into the thumbs. And then exhale it out. Breath in, breath out. I want to thank you so much for joining me today, coming in with an open heart, being open to this opportunity to learn more about what your body and your mind can do for you and expanding your experiences and your horizon. Please will you bring your thumb to your forehead center. Namaste.